welcome to the new Project Camp update. So we bought this big piece of land and are prototyping a more sustainable way of living. Not sure how it's gonna go, but let's see. And in the previous video you could see us doing very specific things. For instance, cleaning up this kitchen, or cleaning up a lake, or cleaning up a swamp. And they are very specific uh, tasks and they're fun to watch because you really start from nothing and in the end you're finished in one video. But to be honest, a lot of stuff is also just small incremental maintenance things, not very exciting. Uh, but very crucial part of it as well. So in this video I'm going to show you a few of these very boring but very much needed tasks. So the first thing we're going to do is fix something on this workspace because we still have the welding machine. So before we're going to bring it back, um, there's a leak on top of there. But let me show you. So there's a strip here on the roof, but it got <coughs> detached. Um, it was not in the best condition when we got it, but now it looks really open. So the water flows here and then it goes between the doors and then it leaks inside. So the water leaks from there, so the floor gets wet. So we're gonna clean this up and then we're gonna weld it to make sure it's uh, waterproof again. Not the most beautiful fix I ever made, but should be good. So another thing to upgrade is this door, because uh, it always just opens itself. Like the wind blows it open, but it doesn't stay like this. And it can get very noisy with a hard wind. So we have a magnet with some rubber outside and an M4 screw. So I'm going to put that in the corner of the container and then it should uh, Hold the door. Small but comfortable upgrade. Yeah, that's it. Now the container door stays uh, in position. Next we're going to do some modification to this uh, solar box. So you might have seen it a few updates ago. This is where our solar system is running. Um, but as I've noticed in the YouTube comments, you guys mentioned the edges should be treated with uh, paint. Because after we cut, the water comes in. Thank you very much for letting me know, makes total sense, didn't think about that. So yeah, we're gonna treat them with some paint to make sure it's really waterproof. So let's get our paint supply. Actually, don't think we have any wood paint, but we still have some black paint left over. A tiny bit from painting the frame of the solar panels. So I think we're just gonna use that. Also a good reason to finish this last bed before it dries out. But before we paint, I first will make sure we're gonna sand it a little bit so it's less porous. And it's just a nicer finish. Should be ready for winter now. Another thing we always have to do after using the chainsaw is to sharpen the blades of the chain. It's quite a lot of work actually, it's like 52 of these things. It takes time. So we are here at the lake 
and uh, there was a small storm that uh, threw down some big trees and we also kind of neglected a bit the lake and as you can see there is a bit of overgrown plants we will chop them down one is easy, taking down the tree that fell on my fan after a big wind storm. And over here we have a big pile of thorns, uh, which is slowly growing and taking over the base camp. So we're gonna chop it down. And then we also have some extra space. And this is actually something we're kind of always doing here, just chopping down thorns to make sure they don't overtake a space. So yeah. But luckily we have this machine. So this is where we have to go through. It's the whole pile of dense thorns. Look how high these bushes are. I mean, I'm quite a tall guy, but they go way beyond me. One tip for you guys on YouTube, which makes a lot of sense, is wear protective gear because uh, you kind of get scratchy here in these bushes. Yeah, I got excited. So yeah. And this right here actually used to be a pathway which I chopped a few weeks ago in the update when we cleaned the swamp, but now completely overgrown. And also the swamp itself actually down there, very bushy. I guess a lot of water around here. So yeah, I'm gonna give this a good haircut. Look at this, just all overgrown. So yeah, this was all bushes and now it's not anymore, so... And another task that we have to do very often is weeding this garden. Uh, it's a very cool thing that in this place it rains a lot, there is a lot of water and then sun and then water again. That's the perfect conditions for things to grow. So also any kinds of weeds grow in this garden mainly brambles, which this used to be a big pile of brambles and now it has most of the herbs we've planted. So once a week we take out all of the weeds so that to make sure that they don't overgrow the plants we've planted already. Another thing we have to do quite often while it's hot is watering all of this garden. And another thing which uh, has been taking way too long is putting up a hammock. But the reason why it's been taking long is that the land burned down. So all big trees are kind of gone or rotten. So uh, the only really small trees around, like here, only a few years old. And they're not really thick enough to hold a person. 
So I think I'm gonna bundle a few together and then hopefully that's enough to uh, hold a hammock. So these were all the practical maintenance things uh, we recently did. Um, but one other thing actually started is to create a Project Camp regional map. And this is basically a map where we map out things in the region. And there are two reasons to make this map. First reason is it might actually be useful for you guys or anyone that is visiting this area uh, to see what is to do around here. Because I feel like this isn't mapped out too much yet, this area. And the other one is we're going to have a lot of new people joining uh, Project Camp and helping out. So instead of telling them this is the store you can find this or this is where you can get vegetables, we just have a map and everyone can uh, access it and easily see all the good places. So here's a Project Camp region map. So we're located in Portugal around here. Wait, let me zoom in. And the map has a lot of useful things like where to get metal. And this is a cool place with many tubes. Or this Tuesday market, it's good for buying young trees. Or practical stuff like a swimming pool, but not for swimming, but to take a shower. <laughs> or the public library right here. And uh, this place is always empty, but the internet is super fast. Or places to wash your clothes, which are next to the supermarket, so you can drink a fresh orange juice while you wait. But besides all this practical stuff, also things to do in the weekend. For instance, visit this high mountain with snow in the winter. Or visit beautiful waterfalls, especially also in winter with a lot of water. And I guess you could figure this one out yourself on the map, but yeah, the beach is there. It's a bit busy though, so we also found some beautiful close by uh, places to swim near the river. So yeah, we have a bunch of categories like entertainment, materials, food, and the map will expand over time. For instance, we still need to find scrap yards. So if you have any tips or suggestions to see in the region, let us know. All right, so that was this video. Very practical one, but very much needed as well. Uh, if you like what we do, make sure to visit support.projectcom.com. And in the next week's video, I think we're gonna hook up the water, which should be exciting and very needed task. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.